guys, what's up, it's Natalia. Welcome back to my gaming channel. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different, and I'm going to be playing an iOS game for you guys. In the last week or so, Fallout Shelter was released for iOS and Android, and I'm not sure if it was out on other platforms. I haven't really looked into it. Anyways, I started playing this game, and I've been having a real ball with it, and I thought, why not restart the game so we can play this together? You know, like a team effort kind of thing, because I'm kind of a noob. So today, we're going to be starting a new vault, and if you guys have any tips and tricks along the way to help me make my vault better, slash not be so noob at the game, Make sure you comment them down below and subscribe to keep up to date with future episodes. This sentence is going off into oblivion and I'm not sure quite where it's going. That made sense. All right, time to stop rambling and let's get started. All right, time to identify my vault and I know I'm going to pick the number 333 because ever since I was young, three has been my favorite number. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's because I'm half evil because, you know, 666333. Maybe that has something to do with it. Congratulations, Vault Taker selected you to be the overseer of Vault 333. They made a good decision with that. The vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. Do -do -do -do. As overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the vault while keeping the dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute. It uses assigned dwellers to the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. Look, I don't need reminding. Welcome to your new Vault Overseer. Let's introduce you to some of the basic concepts. First, let's build a room. Tap on the hammer icon to open the build menu. So we're going to make a power generator, which we are going to put down here as it is telling me to do. Look, new dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Let's look at the stats of a dweller. Tap on a dweller to see their info. Ooh, so this guy's name's Richard. Nice, nice. Okay, so he's best off in strength, which means he should be down in the power room. There we go. And who have we got here? We have somebody by the name of... I would like to click on them, please. Oh, so you want me to assign them down there too? You're not even going to let me, like, introduce myself? That's incredibly rude. Jacqueline and Richard, they are our first people living in our base. Now that the dwellers are working, the rooms will start to produce resources. Double tap on a room to take a closer look. Let's take a closer look, shall we? If you're in dire need of extra resources, you can use a rush mode. Tap the rush button, open the rush menu. Rush. Activate. I was wondering, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Success. That is my favorite type of pizza too. Great, you successfully completed your first rush and collected caps. Now let's build a second room. So they want us to build a diner. But see, I don't want to build them in these places because it's going to like limit our output of supplies. That made sense. But let us put the diner here. Collect some of the food. And they want us to build water treatment plant too. And I don't want to put it there. So we'll put it over here. Oh well, we're doing it. Collecting all those supplies. Look, more dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Now that you know the basic rules of the overseer role, keep expanding your vault. Just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy. Good luck. Oh, look, we've got quite a few people here today. Hello, Randy. How you doing today, boy? Let's take a look where you would be best suited. Hmm, let's go into there. Send dwellers into the wasteland to collect caps, outfits, and weapons. All right. This guy is best suited down in here. His name's Jeremy, by the way. We have somebody by the name of Heather here, and she, by the looks of things, is best off in there. Male and female dwellers within the living quarters have chance of making babies. Ooh. Philip, are you gonna go make a baby? No, you're best off in here. You make that food, though. And we have Craig. Listen, Craig. Oh, actually, I'll put you down there. And you would be better off in here, because he has a higher thing in there. Okay, so we've got some objectives. We've assigned two dwellers to the right room. Nice, claim some bottle caps. We'll not turn that down. Dwellers with a high luck special are more successful at rushing rooms and getting cap bonuses when production finishes. All right, so our supplies are doing pretty well so far, but being this far into the game, that is not surprising. Let's take a look how long we have. Good minute, 41 seconds. Are these guys making a baby yet? Finally, some alone time. Ooh, I hope the baby has a mustache because that would be great. Hello. Gabriel Bishop, how you doing? Where are you best suited? Two, one, 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 two, perfect. You just use the last available space for dwellers in the vault. Build more living quarters to accommodate more dwellers. Sure thing. All right, so let us use our bottle caps, living quarters, chuck them up there. Give those guys a little more breathing room or breeding room, if you know what I mean. But the thing is, when you extend your living quarters, it means that we're going to require more of our power plant. So maybe what we can do is upgrade this. How much is that going to cost us? 
work pretty close to an upgrade and we don't want to extend too quickly because otherwise we'll end up in a big situation where we don't have enough power and I've been there. Don't want to do that again. Got some yummy food. These guys are cooking up a storm. Wait, is his name Philip Cook? Is that what it said? The irony. Oh my gosh, that's the best. Okay. Wow, the wastelands looks like a scary place. I don't want to send anyone out there. It's so scary. Need more dwellers for your vault? Try assigning dwellers to the living quarters to see if magic happens. I have. You guys got to get onto that thing. Merge rooms can hold more dwellers so they can produce more resources. Thank you. I am well aware of this. I know. I get it. Let's just rush something because you get bottle caps if you have a successful rush. <gasps> hey! How you doing, girl? What's up? Alright, Rose. We're going to chuck you into the living quarters because we need some more pregnant ladies up in here. You, my friend. What is your name again? I forgot his name. Jeremy, you've got some work to do, mate. Alright, let's rush something. Let's rush this. Let's see. Actually, no. 41%. Rush. 30%. Little nicer statistic. Uh, let's rush whichever one. Yeah, rush this one. YOLO. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay, bottle caps. Alright, that means we've got enough here, I believe, to upgrade. I just earned a lunchbox. Tap the lunchbox icon in the Pip-Boy menu to open your lunchboxes or purchase additional ones. Hold up. Let me just do what I was doing here. Upgrade. There we go. That means we're going to start producing some more power. Super handy. Okay, so going into the lunchbox menu, it's super cool because basically what you do is you can earn lunchboxes and then you get a pack of cards inside each of them and then they give you some bonuses. So let's take a look what we got. We got 50 power. We've got 100 bottle caps. We've got a initiate robe. That's pretty cool. And we have some $500 caps. That's pretty good. $500 caps or just 500 caps? Whatever. Alright, so I think with those caps, what we should do is we should upgrade if we can. Oh, we're close to an upgrade here. Because the best thing to do is definitely upgrade the rooms rather than extending them because otherwise we're going to run out of power to actually do it. So upgrading the power first, I feel, will be our best option. You can equip items and weapons and use a right away and stip packs from the dweller information panel by tapping on a dweller. Alright, so let's take a look here. I don't really need to put anything on. Wait, where are all of my items kept? Here, outfits. We've got the initiate robe. Typically worn by Brotherhood of Steel Scribes. I don't know where the best place to put that is, actually. I'm scared to do another rush. Okay, it's alright. We've got our things coming up pretty soon, so. Has the Overseer been talking about me? Yes, I have. Oh, I know. Super amazingly great. I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. I keep seeing, like, half of their conversation and not really knowing what they're talking about. Water treatment is ready about now. There we go. Look at our supplies, guys. We're actually doing pretty well, if you do ask me. Do you guys think we should update the kitchen now, seeing as we have enough? Yeah, we should do it. I didn't even, like, like give you a chance to answer. I just kind of made it an executive decision. But I guess it's pretty good. Good timing because our thing comes up in 30 seconds. But it's always good to continue making more food for the crew because we're going to have some babies up in here, hopefully. Come on, Jeremy. You can do this. I believe in you, son. I'm gonna level you up. Look at him, Craig. Oh, we have a dweller. Hello. How do you feel about going and making some babies? Do you feel good about it? To... Yep, that's where you gotta go. I'm sorry. Look, you've got to do your work, man. You've got to make three ladies pregnant, please. That would be super appreciated. I want to move the water treatment room to over here. But I know to do that, I need to first place another restaurant there because i want to make the double rooms because it's much easier but then again i want to extend the power station <gasps> just so many decisions i don't know have we got a pregnant lady yet i really wish we had a mr handy <laughs> oh oh okay me too same should we try rush the restaurant yeah yolo please 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 yes burning two or three of the same rooms will help out with production i know man i've been told about a million times before Leveling up. Look at all the caps we're gaining. This is good. Uh, I really want to move that, but I don't think it'll let me. Want to play catch later? Ooh, this is not the flirting room, mate. Playing catch. I know what you mean by that. Uh-huh. Catching the booty. Oh, we have a new man at our door. Hello, Charles Ford. How you doing today, sir? Hope you're having a fabulous day, whatever it is you're doing. Uh, where are you best kept? In the charisma room or the 
that room. I don't want to extend the power room yet, but then again, extending the power room will give us more power, so maybe I should. Oh, crumb. You know what the problem here is? There we go. That was the problem. Because they were two different levels that I couldn't expand them together. But now, we'll chuck Charles down in here. And we have a leveled up power station. Our power levels should be fine for ages. I think the next thing we need to really worry about is food. Because, uh, well, food and water. Because we've only got single rooms for those, unfortunately. But now that I have that layer done, I should be able to build. I just want to have a look how much it is to build. But, like, build underneath. And then what I can do is one at a time, like, build a kitchen under. And then delete the kitchen. Oh, no. Like, build a double kitchen under. And then delete that kitchen and put the water thing there. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. But I feel as we go along in this game, it will get easier with our production levels. Hopefully. I don't know. Have we got a pregnant lady yet? Come on. Got the food, got the caps, won't deny that. How much is it to upgrade here? Oh, are they happy? I think for dinner I'll have a big steak. What about you? You're not making a mistake with that one, sir. Oh my gosh, look at the upgrade costs. Holy smokes. But then again, we'll be getting a lot more power, which is always good. But I really... Oh no, I upgraded the kitchen already. So what I'll need to do is move the water thing under there. Because I don't want to, like... Because I've already upgraded the food thing. Such a waste of caps otherwise. I'm really happy with all of our supplies at the moment. We are on top of it by the looks of things. One thing I really love about the game is the graphics. That there's the uh, 2D and the 3D mixture in it. So the characters are all in like 2D. But then the rooms, you can look at it from different angles. And it's kind of 3D, if that makes sense. I don't know. I think it really adds to the game. Hello, grandma. Man, we're running out of places for you, dude. We'll just chuck you there. Room unlocked. What have we unlocked, guys? We have unlocked the storage room. Increases the number of weapons and outfits you can hold. Well, at this point in my life, I don't really need that. But I need to put Brenda somewhere, but I've assigned, like, four or four. Three or four. Actually, no, I can chuck you down into there, Brenda. There you go. There's a job for you. Get us some more power going. Got a population of 12 people at the moment, no children as of yet. It is taking him way too long to make a da baby. Hurry up, please. Five seconds till water treatment is on the way. Our supplies are dropping pretty quickly, actually. Surprisingly. Um, but we are keeping above the line, which is the most important thing, because otherwise our dwellers will start to slowly diminish and their happiness will go down and they'll have radiation. And in my last game, I actually had a lot of trouble with radiation where my entire base was overcome with it and the children had it and it was just not fun. So hopefully I can avoid it in this because otherwise I'd be really embarrassing to try and make a comeback from because it probably won't be doable. Alrighty, got some more power. Very nice, keeping us above the line. That actually shut up our power quite a lot, so that's actually really good. I'm really happy with that. Maybe I should do a rush to try earn some bottle caps. If we get one more random stroll to the door or something, or we have like an extra person, I'm going to send them out into the wasteland and hope that they don't die because that wouldn't be fun. What a great day. Oh, look at him just spinning that wrench, hammer, whatever that thing is called. It's not a hammer. It's definitely a wrench. I don't know. Did your father sell diamonds? Because you're flawless. Eh, hey, where, where are you going? Oh, they're making a baby. Finally, it's about time. Evidently, he didn't get anywhere with Heather. So now he's making babies. Collect the water. Collect 50 water, which means we have earned ourselves another lunchbox thing. Let's claim it. Claim those bottle caps. And let us go and take a look at our lunchbox. Okay, so inside of our lunchbox, we have received our sniper rifle. Very handy. We have received 500 bottle caps, some water, and... Ooh, Eulogy Jones's suit. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with that. Should I put it on someone? I don't know. Alrighty, guys, so we're pretty full on water, which makes me think that we don't need to extend the water at this point, but we do have enough bottle caps to do that. But should I? I don't know. Maybe we should just save the money. Because if I could do that, it means I can extend my kitchen. But, you know, I don't have enough people to fill it up. Hey, look! Guys, look! We have a baby on the way. Now, you need to hurry up. Get in with the next lady. Get all the babies. You know, no morals need to be in this building. It's fine. Just make all the babies. Should I try to rush this? 32%. YOLO. 
please. Yes. I always get really stressed when I try to do that. Guys, right, so the next thing I'm going to do is upgrade my restaurant because I need to get some more food on the way. We are super close to actually being able to do that. So maybe after I collect these, I'll rush one of them and hopefully get enough bottle caps to do just that. All right, let's take a look. 40%. Nah, that's too risky. Like anything over like 38%, I don't want to do it unless I'm really desperate because... I always lose every time. Like, my luck is not good. It's not fun. But then again, our um, supplies are doing pretty well, so I don't think it's a real necessity. Hey, I just wanted to say I really appreciate everything you do for the vault. Oh, what a nice human. I appreciate that. I just want to earn enough bottle caps to do this, so I think I'm just going to rush something. Okay, let's take a look. Rush. 40%. Rush. 42%. Uh, 30%. That's pretty good. Let's do it. Please? Yes! Okay. Please have enough bottle caps. Yes! Okay. Woo! Success. Alright. Let's upgrade you. There we go. Upgrade the cafeteria. We're gonna get some more food per collection. Let's take a look at how much we actually get when we collect it. We maximize production. Great work. Thank you. I know. I'm pretty good at this game. I'm actually a seasoned pro and MLG and I'm doing this clearly competitively. Not at all. The cool thing about this game is you can go down so far. Like, our vault can be literally endless. Like, this is- uh, this could be a potentially very time-consuming game, my god. Alright, let's take a look how much we go above the bar when we collect. Uh, it wasn't as much as I expected, but, I mean, food is food. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to give it a like and comment down below things I should be doing differently and things you want to see in the future when it comes to my vault because I'm kind of a noob. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my new videos and I'll see you guys next time.